everyone, I'm Phoebe. Welcome to my channel and blog, Bear Change, where I talk about environmental advocacy and climate change. It's been a minute since I've made a video, but I thought I'd take it to the screen to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. And I didn't want to be the one to break it to you, but I'm pretty convinced climate change is going to ruin this holiday. Valentine's Day is one of those consumer holidays where buying tokens of affection for someone is usually the norm. When you think of Valentine's gifts, what comes to mind? Chocolate? Wine? Roses? Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but all of these are at risk or contribute to climate change. Let's start with chocolate. What if I told you there's a high chance we're not even going to have chocolate in the next 20 years? Cocoa plantations require rainforest environments with biodiverse ecosystems and high levels of humidity. With a hotter planet means higher temperatures and increased risk of drought. As of today, cocoa farming already contributes to a ridiculous amount of rainforest deforestation. On the Ivory Coast of Ghana in Africa, cocoa farming is happening on protected rainforest lands illegally to supply the world's growing demand for chocolate. Not only is this extremely destructive, but these rainforests are actually sucking up all the bad carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. If you buy any chocolate under the names of Lindt, Ferrero, Hershey's, Nestle, or Mars, there's a very high chance that that chocolate was sourced from illegal rainforest operations. Also, many of these brands utilize palm oil as well as a filler ingredient, which also contributes to extreme deforestation in other parts of the globe. But we're in luck. There's some awesome companies out there that advocate for ethically sourced, sustainable, and rainforest friendly chocolate. I encourage you to read labels on your chocolate to see what ingredients are in there, where it came from, and if it advocates for fair trade or ethically sourced products. You'd be surprised how many awesome brands are out there. Wine. So near and dear to my heart. It's sad, but true climate change could potentially rob us of this luxury libation. Between extreme weather like intense wildfires or untimely frosts or floods or droughts, many primo wine regions are also at risk of production. Regions in France are also reporting in loss of yields, which means less grapes, less wine for us. So cheers for now. Flowers. Did you know that the red roses you buy for Valentine's Day probably have a higher travel carbon footprint than you in one year? Most red roses for Valentine's Day come from the Southern Hemisphere, which means their lifespan, their travel footprint, and their growing conditions aren't necessarily the most eco-friendly. Instead, why don't you buy an I love you plant that can sit on your lover's counter all year long and bloom and grow with your love. And if it dies, I hope your love doesn't die too. Valentine's Day cards. Over 2,500,000 trees are cut down every year just for greeting cards. I can guarantee you that those heartfelt memos probably don't even make it to the recycling bin either. So this year, why don't you show the people you love, including yourself, gifts with a little bit more mindfulness. Don't buy things just because it's been the tradition to show someone you love them. Now fellas, this is no excuse not to get your ladies a little something something. And ladies, you know your men need love too. And for all you singles out there, show yourself some self love. But remember, planet Earth should be your number one valentine. So make sure she knows it. Cheers and have a happy valentine's day.